What's up guys, Jake Berlin here. Get ready because Avengers Infinity War is now just a few weeks away. The monster Marvel movie is now on the horizon and we are so excited here at Apocalypse Movies in anticipation for the big giant blockbuster of every Marvel character ever. We have to decided to put an entire list of MCU movies ranked by a certain number together. Now, the way it works is we have put together our personal list we have brought them together by a point system. The point system works as follows. The first movie on our list gets 18 points because there are 18 movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The 18th movie gets one point. Everything in between kind of counteracts itself. We add that together. Highest points are at the top, low points at the bottom. This is not us saying that one movie is horrible and one movie is better than the most. This is what we got together with all of our lists combined. We wanted to do separate videos for you, kind of breaking them down, reacting, and kind of revisiting all of these movies because we have been through a monster journey of 10 years of Marvel movies. Um, now we're going to try and release six a week leading up, and that week of Infinity War we're going to release a number of different videos for the movie. We are so excited, we hope you enjoy these videos, and again, don't hate us for ranking these videos differently, but enjoy them at the same time. Man, what can I say about my anticipation for Black Panther? I, you know, blame the critics and everybody buzzing about it. I was so excited about this movie. I, and I'm not gonna say, sit here and lie and say I was the biggest Black Panther fan growing up, but I have became a fan of the character in the last couple of years. I, I started researching him and watching cartoons with him in it. And he is a great character. And I even read a few comics here and there. And so I was really looking forward to seeing the character. Look, as fans, we all get excited for these Marvel movies. The way that they interconnect between each other, the way that you know characters are tying into one another and stories are kind of intertwining into this giant universe is very, very exciting. But I don't remember, other than the Captain America movies for myself, I don't remember the kind of excitement that Black Panther brought to the table in a very, very long time. Everyone was excited for this movie. The anticipation was incredible and it totally paid off. Like this movie is fantastic through thick and thin, whether you like some parts, whether you don't like some parts, no matter what, this movie succeeds on so many levels. For me, I didn't really know much about Chadwick Boseman. I know he was in some pretty big movies before, but it was, to me, he was almost like an unknown, but Boy, did he make this role he, his own. He is Black Panther. He will forever be Black Panther. I thought what they showed us of Wakanda was really great and looked beautiful. I don't think we saw enough of it. We saw a lot of like aerial shots of it and you know from, from the hills we saw what it looked like. But other than them walking through that one street, I wanted to see inside Wakanda, what it looks like. We saw the kingdom and stuff and we saw a lot of the tech lab and that was great. I wanted to see more of Wakanda, but don't get me wrong, what they showed us was amazing and it was beautiful. Wakanda being introduced into the MCU was a huge deal. So Ryan Coogler had to figure out the best way to bring this on screen and he delivered it. I do think Michael B. Jordan's Killmonger is one of the best MCU villains ever. And it's, it's because the way they set the character up and you don't know it, as you're watching the film, but once the film ends, you're like, holy crap, what it, look what they set up in the beginning of the film. The opening starts with his story. And it's crazy that they took the time to focus on this character so much. And again, it's the relatability. I know people can relate to this character and what, what his motives were. So I think for that reason, and just the performance wise, how great it was, he is one of the best MCU villains. Honestly, second only to Loki in my opinion. He just brings such a unique and real villain that you just get so invested in because his story is that of a real type of story of the, someone that's been through a lot and just is trying to build their life back to it that it's relatable. And that's something that not many of these MCU characters do and he's just Michael B. Jordan what I mean he's fantastic the supporting cast of Black Panther is by far the best supporting cast in any of the MCU movies his supporting cast 
is so big and so rich in character that they all almost feel like they're their own important character. I had mentioned this when we were talking about Spider-Man Homecoming in his brand new suit created by Tony Stark with Karen inside his head and whatnot. Now, Black Panther doesn't have a Karen. He has a Shuri who is just as good and possibly better. But I would have liked to have seen this movie kind of take a step back from that because I felt like even though they have the technology at their disposal, there were a ton of scenes in this movie where he used it to his advantage rather than taking down his skills and kind of just going at someone. Like I would have much rather have seen a fight scene with Black Panther, whether it was against Killmonger, whether it was against someone in you know, Korea or a few of his um, traitors among the, the Wakandans. I, I would have rather seen him just in the suit fighting like he did in Civil War rather than using the impulse against the ground and kind of blowing up 15 people at one time. Like, it was a cool thing to see maybe once or twice, but they really used it to their disposal just to kind of breeze through a few situations. Um, I'm excited for Infinity War because I know for a fact that that's not gonna work against these, uh, against Thanos and the Black Order, against the alien creatures that are coming on to fight on Wakanda. He's gonna have to go hand to hand. And that's why I'm so excited to see him in this movie because look, he may use some technology to his advantage. Captain America is gonna have a few of Wakanda shields on his arms, but as long as they don't take advantage of it and still use the character in the right way, because at the end of the day, Black Panther is one of the greatest fighters in the Marvel movies. So after watching Black Panther and seeing how big of a role Wakanda is gonna play in just his character and his world, his surrounding characters, I am looking forward to its involvement in Infinity War. I do hope that it's it's not in it too much and it looks like it might be which is okay and it's not like they changed Infinity War because of the success of Black Panther. They didn't have enough time to do that. But I, I will say I am looking forward to it. I'm glad it's playing a big role in the movie and it makes sense. Let's just face it, Black Panther is the future of these Marvel movies. He is going to be the Tony Stark five years down the road because look, look Iron Man is not going to be around forever. Captain America is not going to be around forever. As much as that kills me to say, he's not. Like, we're going to have to move on from Thor and Black Widow or Hulk and Hawkeye. Like, these these OG Avengers are going to have to filter out at some point. Because of the success of Black Panther, the way he was introduced in Civil War, how much Wakanda is being used in not just Infinity War, but beyond, he is the future of these movies. I think Black Panther is in the right spot on our list at 7. I was afraid it was going to end up being higher than that because it's so new and it's easy to be hyped about things that are brand new and i love this movie don't get me wrong but i i do think it ends it ends up around that seven or eight mark for me so it's it's in the right position am i surprised to see black panther ranked just seventh on our list uh to be quite honest i think i am um seven is for how excited we all were for this movie here at apocalypse for how much we love this movie here at apocalypse I am pretty surprised to see it ranked seven. I, I definitely thought it would be ranked top five, maybe even top three. Um, so seven is definitely a surprise. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the in the short clip uh, in the beginning, it is a consensus list. So there may have been one or two of us that ranked it just a little bit lower than each other's, but seven is still a really good number out of 18 movies. 18 movies, and it's probably one of the riskiest movies Marvel has ever done. And so seven is still a good number, but I am still very surprised that it's at least not top five for us.